الحمد للہ رب العالمین و صلی اللہ وسلم علی نبی محمد و علی و صحبہ و سلم اما بعد Continuing on in our hadith course, we reach the sixth hadith, the hadith of uh, Umar ibn Abi Salama. An Umar ibn Abi Salama radiyallahu ta'ala anhu, kuntu ghulaman fi hijri rasulillahi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, wa kanat yaday tatish fi suhfa. فقال لي في صحفة فقال لي يا غلام سم الله وكل بيمينك وكل مما يليك فما زالت تلك تم تمتي بعد رواه بخاري. On the authority of Umar ibn Abi Layha Salama رضي الله تعالى عنه it is reported that he said, I was a boy under the care of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and my hand used to go around the dish, meaning when he was eating his hand would go around the dish. He would, you know, eat from the other side of the dish. So the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said to me, Oh boy, mention the name of Allah, eat with your right hand and eat from the dish which is nearest you. So then this has been my manner of eating. In this hadith, uh, uh, Umar ibn Abi Salama anhu, tells us that he was a servant boy in the house of the Prophet وسلم, and at meal times he used to take food from around the communal uh, meal plate. And so one day the Prophet وسلم, ordered him to begin the meal by saying Bismillah and to eat with his right hand and to eat only from that which is in front of him. So these are very important manners, sharia, adab, for eating, that we have to remind ourselves. Because I know myself that often I take from the other part of the plate instead of taking what's right in front of me. But from the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and because the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam commanded him to, that we should take from the food which is closest to us on the plate. Some of the benefits of this hadith, uh, this hadith shows us the obligation to begin eating by mentioning Allah's name, that we should say Bismillah when we're going to eat. Also, the obligation to eat with the right hand. This, uh, and likewise, uh, which is uh, the mafhum mukhalifa, you know, the opposite uh, understanding or the understanding that is derived what's implied from this as well is the forbiddance of eating with the left hand. So meaning it's a, a commandment to eat with the right and forbidden to eat with the left. Uh, likewise, the obligation to eat only from what is in front of us. So we should eat that which is uh, in front of us. And then the another benefit from this hadith is also that it's preferable to eat from one plate instead of everyone having their own dish as well. And this hadith also shows us the humility of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And another hadith uh, affirms for us the importance of using the right for good things and using our left for uh, akramakum Allah, for going to the restroom and cleaning ourselves in the restroom. And that's the hadith of Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha kanat kana Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam the Prophet uh, Aisha عنها, said that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said uh, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used to use his right for for eating and for combing his hair and for uh, uh, purification and in all of his affairs, meaning all of his affairs that are affairs that didn't deal with uh, Akramakum Allah, uh, that which was uh, filth. So showing us that from the sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is that to use the left hand for other things. So when you go to the restroom, for example, that you should, if you are using your hand or using the, using tissue or or making uh, istijmar with rocks or what have you, 
that you should use those things, those things you hold with your left, your left hand, and clean yourself with that. Because the hadith shows us the takrim or the, the important and beautiful position of using the right hand, that we use the right hand for those things, uh, for, for that which is good. You know, for eating and shaking people's hands. And this is why it's important the Muslim shakes hands with the right hand, not with the left hand. Because the left hand we use, of course, a karma kum Allah, for, for cleaning ourselves. So those are just some of the benefits. And it shows us the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, is to use the right hand for that which is uh, for cleanliness and, and for eating and, and so forth. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم